Okay, so before we move on with the story here, there's this one place that I was curious about. Um, I saw this when I was... Oh, wait a minute. I think I know where I am. No, I know where I am. I'm... So when I was editing the last video, I noticed that there was a certain... Okay, you know what? This took me nowhere new. I thought there would be some new place in the ship that I could go to, but as it turns out, there's nothing new. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing new I can explore, so... I guess for now I've explored everything I could in the pirate ship. Why am I... I'll just meet you back. I'm gonna go... So, um... How's it going, everyone? This is Mayo Hello, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Blind. Once I get back to where I was, then we're going to go fight Dustin Hoffman. So excuse me. Okay, I am back to the Captain Hook fight. Oh, I'm sorry, the Dustin Hoffman fight. So, you know, I said this before, but in the movie Hook, which is one of my childhood favorites, even though it's not critically acclaimed as you may want it to be. It was on fire! Cool! It's being destroyed. That's actually a very cool detail. I'm, who's throwing presents at me? Okay, now for you... Someone... Why are you throwing presents? Oh my god, it works on you! Thank you, Legend of Sword, for that little tidbit. I never... So, I always have to believe that spells like stop never work on bosses. Because, like, you know, that's the thing about RPG games. Whenever, whenever there's, there's some sort of awesome status effect that you can, you know, use on an enemy, it never works on the boss. So, that is going to be helpful. Although, not if I fly around too much and be like, Wee! Alright, no. I was about to heal Peter, but I think Goofy has Peter's back because... Well, I guess I kind of missed, but no, I missed completely. Damn. So, the other tip is that gravity is really good for the pirate ships. As you can see here, it's crippling the pirate ship like crazy. Element ring, man. Okay, this is more of a... This is a much better fight. What are you doing, Captain Hook? Stop embarrassing yourself and stop. With Stopra. I forgot... I think it's what, like, Stopra has, like, a higher... Radius or something, that's the only special thing about Stopra. Um, compared to Stop, it doesn't act as if you stop. Oh no, no. Because initially it's all like, oh man, Stopra, does that mean that it stops the enemies for a longer amount of time? But I think it just has a larger radius in which it can be used. No, I was about to say, hey, no, it's not gonna be a threat anymore, but it seems like it's a threat. So, how is Captain Hook doing? You know what, you take care of Captain. I said you take care of Captain Hook, but let's go back to the man of the hour, who can also fly, I guess? Nope. Oh, that's the wrong spell. That's the wrong spell. I didn't want to do that. Alright, good. Well, I guess it's over. MP gift? That sounds good. Well, we defeated Dustin Hoffman within, like, three minutes or so, so that's... Consider considerably better than last time where I died. What is that? Ars Arcanum? Ansem's report? No, what is that Ars Arcanum thing? It's like a whole different language. Kyrie couldn't wake up, so maybe she's really lost her. <gasps> Sora, I still can't believe it. I really flew. Wait till I tell Kyrie. I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. You can bring her to Neverland sometime. Then she can try it herself. If you believe, you can do anything, right? I'll find Kyrie. I know I will. 
There's so much I want to tell her about flying, the pirates, and everything else that's happened. What's that, Tink? What about the clock tower? You say there's something there. Man, welcome to London. <laughs> I had you there, didn't I? I had you there. I was like, I can fly. What if I couldn't though? Then I would have died. Well, you know, I always wanted to visit London. Did I? I don't know. I always have this weird conception of visiting the United Kingdom. Like, I think London would be one of the few places that I'd want to visit for sure since it seems cool. But I'm also pretty interested in, in the English countryside, but yeah, I, I never visited London. I know at least one of my viewers is um, from the UK, and I can imagine that traveling to the UK would kind of be complicated once Brexit actually happens, right? You know, since... Well, then again, like, you guys use pounds there anyways, it's not as if you used the euros. Let's talk to Wendy. Let's not get into current events. Hi, Goofy, you're... Thanks. Um... Is that it? Well, let's take a look around this clock tower. So... Wait a minute, how did Wendy get back here? Well, good thing I checked here for Flare G. Great, good thing I checked. Let's see, the camera... Alright, just wanted to make sure. So I guess I can fly around, can't I? Wee. Oh, This is pretty romantic, if not for the fact that, you know, Kyrie's not here. You know, I kind of wondered, like, they were the pirates who took Wendy away, but they also took, well, Kyrie away. So, then again, Captain Hook said that Riku and Kyrie, well, I think it's like Riku and Kyrie, well, Riku took Kyrie to this hollow bastion, according to Captain Hook. And as for um, Wendy, I guess they dropped their back off in London because they didn't see much use for her, because I guess. She is now one of the seven princesses. Since I guess that's still a storyline that needs to be addressed. Hello, uh, 1145. Can I sit on you? No, I can't. Well, that's a shame. So what am I supposed to do now? I can just fly. I'm flying. Look at me. I'm Wait a minute. Okay, okay, one of the clocks must be broken then because... What's this here? Oh, interesting. I was like, yeah, this doesn't make any sense. How can this be, how can a minute hand be different? Like, if you're counting across different time zones, then the hour hand should be the one that's different, but this is like the Big Ben, is it not? Should it not have the same time on all four sides? Is, oh my god, that's actually what I need to traverse to the next town, but I don't learn a Trinity move. Well, shit. Oh, man. Um, I thought I would have learned a Trinity move by now. Although, there's that one spell I learned.
Is that girl Kyrie? Is Kyrie special because she arrived when the meteor shower happened? Because wasn't she like new and mysterious and such? I I actually don't know. It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. A castaway. Though his world perished, his heart did not. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. But fear not. No harm will come to you. He is no match for your power. My power? Yes. The untapped power that lies within you. Now, child, it's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. I feel like we're getting to end game material if Riku's getting all powered up by darkness and maleficent. Peter, are you really going back to Neverland? Afraid so. But we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. steamed again do me a favor look after her for me will ya what ooh so she's a summon now and a new keyblade awesome is there anything oh my god this is what I need I needed this wait a minute okay Let's go into my abilities and everything. No, that... What is that new ability that I learned? Let's go back to the bottom. R's a formidable attack. After a combo, select so like a follow-up attack again for a double combo. Ooh, so I think this is what I want to... Like, okay, I get it. I could have used Strike Raid in the games two videos ago. Um, although I'm not too sure if I'm... I know how to use strike rate and I know that I should switch between targets. It's not really, I don't know how to use it, it's more like I don't think I can find good times to use it. Or, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know. But, um, I'd be really interested in trying out this Ars Arcanum, or however you say it. Although that would mean I have to free up AP, but I can just give Sora one of the AP ups that I have here. In fact, I should just do that. If I'm so interested in Sora's AP search shit, then I should just give it to him. So theoretically he can equip um, Strike Raid right now, but I kind of want to think more about that. But I believe this is what I'm most interested in. Yeah, to ride the air currents. Hold down the A button to remain aloft. So I don't think I don't think that this will come into effect much here because in Neverland or London I can fly. So I guess this means our adventures in England are over, which is a shame because we pretty much went through, well, it's a shame and at the same time it's like different enough that it's unique. Or am I going to run, run into an invisible plot wall? I just want to go to the tower to see if there's any, oh, invisible plot wall, why? I want to explore London. Is there really, all, is this really all there is to London? Oh, that's just lame. But yeah. On one hand, I'm glad this is just not a retelling of Peter Pan. Well, it's kind of a retelling of one of the final chapters of Peter Pan, which ends with Captain Hook's defeat. He didn't get eaten, but, you know, that'd be too morbid, and I'm sure they want to bring him back in the future. 
That being said, we kind of went through Peter Pan while forgetting about the existence of many characters. The Lost Boys, Wendy's Brothers, the Native Americans, Come on! How, which is a weird song because it's so, con you know, it's so backwards minded now. Simply astonishing. Today I had a guest from another world. He is a king, and his vessel is built of a material that is composed of that composed the meteors. Meteors again. He called the pieces gummy blocks. It seems that my opening that door has opened a path to the in to interworld travel. We talked for countless hours, but one story in particular caught my interest, that of a key called the Keyblade. The Keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power. One legend says its wielder saved the world, while another says that he wrought chaos and ruin upon it. I must know what this Keyblade is. The key opens doors. It must be connected to the door that I have opened. And I have a Keyblade, don't I? Yeah, so we kind of went through the story of Peter Pan while pretty much ignoring a majority of Peter Pan, which is something new, and at the same time, it's what we did with Pinocchio. We ignored the majority of P Pinocchio. The problem is, you know, um, we kind of already saw most of the main characters of Pinocchio that we care about in Monstro, you know. Be so what can Tinkerbell do? Restore your party's HP and... <gasps> That's... Isn't that, like, overpowered? I should remember to use that because you know how bad I am at remembering um, summons. Really bad. <laughs> like, terribly bad. Is this all I can do here? Do I re... Let's say I want to go back to the pirate ship. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, there, I have to be able to go back to the pirate ship because I saw that yellow trinity mark. But I'm getting a bit concerned about... So I guess I should just leave. So we don't know the white trinity move and we don't know the yellow trinity move. Pixie dust? Yeah, we should go back to Sid since we have another Navi G piece, which... The final cup, isn't it? Yep, that's it. The final cup. So I wonder what happens if I go back here. What areas will I be able to access? The thing is, I don't think... So I can go back to the ship. Okay. I don't remember if there was anything I'm able to access now in the ship. Was there anything I needed light for? I don't think so. Off the top of my head, I know that there's a treasure chest in Agrabah that I can get with glide. There is a treasure chest. I, there is the whole doorway thing, which I think takes me to the bizarre room in Wonderland that I can get with glide. I don't remember if I can get use glide on anything in deep jungle. I have to go back here for the final cup. But let's get down to business and go to Traverse Town, since that's the logical place to go. On on the surprise that we finished Neverland so quickly. Neverland pretty much had one and a half videos dedicated to it. Normally I've noticed that, you know, normally a given world would take like three videos or so. So it's weird how Neverland just, you just spend half the usual amount of time you spend in a world in Neverland. And I guess that's why I feel so weird about Neverland and its brevity. It's not the fact that, you know, we didn't do a one-to-one -one relation, you know, one-to-one -one, uh, retelling of the story of Peter Pan, because that would have been boring. I liked what was told in Peter Pan, or Neverland, with, well, the story of Riku and Kairi and Riku's further corruption. That was good. That being said, um, is there anything else I can make here? Nothing I can make. Damn. Uh, I guess I need a Fury Stone or a Furry Stone. Ooh, if I defeat the Sniper Wilds perfectly, I can get this, but guess what I can... What? Guess what I cannot do? I think what I want to go to is that item shop with Huey, Louie, and Screwy. Just to see if they have any new materials or new stuff for Goofy and Donald, because they haven't given me jack shit. Then again, I mostly use their shot to buy ethers since, I mean, ethers are good for Sora. 
and it's not too often you come across a game where you can go waltz into a shop and buy ethers. Ethers are usually never buyable in shops. You have to preserve all of your ethers as much as possible because you can never buy them. You have to find them. So that's a special thing about ethers and well, you can just buy them here. So you have almost an infinite, su infinite supply which is mostly determined by, determined by how much money you have. Alright Sid, so we find the other Navi GPs. Where can this take us? Do your thing and brew us some tea. I want some tea. Shower! Now just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm going. The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you, so as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I believe in you. Huh? What's the matter? Um, nothing. Kyrie? Did you call me? You know, that's just the type of storytelling I've wanted to see so much in this game. Although, I'm aware that the storytelling can also can the story technically can lose itself in the whole light versus dark thing for too much in the Kingdom Hearts series and that's what it's known for, for better or for worse, but you know, when I edit this video I'm gonna have to take a look at the, at the cutscene again because I'm sure that's pretty, pretty pivotal, it's like a central theme, a main theme, I bet. Is it where Maleficent is? Transform G. What can this do? Well, yeah, I feel like we're nearing the end of the game. Here we go. This is glide. So you kind of lose altitude a little bit. You know, 
there's one place wait, wait a minute you know i was always curious about one place well first of all someone did ask me about potentially climbing onto the rooftops of these shops is there anything on top of these no but oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god however i believe if i just glide what if i uh sora sora what if i go wait a minute no 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 no. i've already been here before yeah this is where i got that one item but um i think i'm gonna drop by the wizard and the dalmatians to see if i can get any swag from the dalmatians and see if i can interact with a certain treasure chest so excuse me no swag damn before i move on to the wizard i feel like this is something i, I can interact with Okay, you gonna do anything for me or? I guess the thing is there's gotta be multiple pipes that I can interact with then, right? Or maybe I should take a look around here and see what I activated by doing that. Talking about cloud here. I wonder who he's looking for. I mean, I probably know, judging by Final Fantasy VII lore. Oh, what did I do here? I seem to have activated something. Um, I was always curious about this gizmo shop. Because it's never seemed to do anything, but I activated something. Wonder what I activated. Oh. Two postcards. Is that all I got? Is that all I get? Okay, so I'm back here. So this is the one that goes to the second district. That's the reason why I went to the gizmo shop. To go to here. Because I didn't know of... So I guess, is that what... I activated by um, doing thunder on the wires. I hope that this is going to be a cakewalk now. I mean, it's not going to be too much of a cakewalk, but... The other, the other reason why I wanted to go to the wizards was because I don't need to do a trinity move to get to here anymore. I can just glide here. I was like, oh, tits. All right, I made it through gliding. What's inside this treasure chest? I Dalmatians 1, 2, and 3. Hell to the fuck to the yeah. Is that all? Of yeah, Traverse Town is... There's no more Dalmatians to find in Traverse Town. Sweet. Also, I realized the final question mark, question mark, question mark. That actually refers to the next world, doesn't it? So there are no Dalmatians in Atlantica. Because 12 plus 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 6 equals, well, 39. Because that's how many Dalmatians are left. So, yeah, Hollow... It's pretty obvious that Hollow Bastion is the next world. That's not mince words. Um, perhaps the final world. Considering that, you know, that's all Jiminy's notebook said. Anyway, so, I actually want to go into... 100 Acre Woods. Oh, I'm undercover. Because there's just one area where I believe Goliath can be useful. But in order to take advantage of the exploration of the area, I have to do Tigger and Rue's minigame again. So, excuse me. Okay, so... One thing I want to do is take a look inside of that stump, because I actually never did... There was a treasure chest inside. Oh, I was ignorant for ignoring that. Thanks, Cyan. Or... Did you... Are you calling yourself a lone bear now because of the polar bear thing? Hi, uh, Ru. Are you gonna go into the seesaw? Um, I guess. So there's a rare nut that I can nab. That I can. Hello, rare nut. So here's what I thought. Well, let's get this nut first. There we go. So I can do some transactions with Ow. Ooh. I know I can get there through gliding. 
There we go. That wasn't annoying at all. Dark matter. Ooh, that's actually pretty good for synthesis and all. Well, let's see Mr. Owl. So there's a lot of stuff here that I can do. Defense up. Nice. I can give that... I should give that to either Sora... Maybe Sora, I think. I think Sora needs it more than Donald. Especially if I want to participate in the upcoming games, which... Um, so I'm going to end the video off in Olympus just to pretty much set things up for the games because I'm going to try to do the games in the next video because I feel like that's... I, what? Okay... So that happened. I don't know what happened. Also, this nut is annoying me, but how do I get that? God, it feels so good to glide. I can do so much, like collect treasure. So I got a bunch of postcards, so... Mega Elixir, nice. Or a Calcum again. I wonder if I can AP up, nice. There's, so there's one more, po one more postcard. Is there anything I can make in the synthesis shop then? Hmm, guess not. I guess that... I have to fight the rare heartless at some point again. I have to try to do that again. But that's not what I'm interested in doing at the moment, so let's I think I can leave. I mean I guess I could have visited the Dalmatians again, but Alright, so I wanted to refrain from leaving Traverse Town. Um That's what I was about to do, sort of. Although the two Trinity moves that I don't have. Oh man, battle level number number ten, number 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 ten. I was like, say the n word number. God damn it, say it with proper enunciation, bitch. Anyway, so this is probably my next destination because there's a new cup here. You know, this time around, I actually want to take a look at the list of competitors and see who I'm up against, because I think I know who I have to fight against in the final cup. So we started off with the Phil Cup, then the Pegasus Cup, and just as I had expected, this should be the Hercules Cup. And at the very end, we have to fight against Hercules himself. Gargoyle, Shadow, White Knight? Have I ever seen White Knights before? Come on! Air Pirates, I've seen those from... There's more Neverland stuff. Gargoyle, some White Knights. Are there going to be stuff I'm going to find in the next world, which I think I'm... Oh. Cloud? I'm fighting Cloud? Also, what is this rare travel? But I'm fighting Cloud? Holy jeez, we're actually going to have a rematch. And then, that's what I did not expect. And then Hercules himself. Okay, so... I have a story to tell about the Hercules Cup in the next video when I attempt to do it. Because here's the thing, well here's a sneak peek of the story of the Hercules Cup. I watched and when I, when it, I won't tell you the story right away since that's for the next video but I have seen the Hercules Cup before in person, I mean not in person but I, I have seen the Hercules Cup before like 13 years ago but yeah I guess we'll be doing that or I've just made it do the time trial for Pegasus Cup and then the Hercules Cup next video but yeah we're doing games next video so I am screwed thanks for watching and bye